I'm gonna just be honest, I struggle with this too, cause I mean, who doesn't like to be on their phone, going through Instagram, while you're taking a why? You know what I'm saying? But after you watch this video, you're gonna understand, or hopefully you understand reasons why you shouldn't. What is good YouTube? Welcome back, or welcome to the channel, man. If you're new to the channel, my name is Dudley, AKA, what they call me, what they call me. Oh my God, it's the plant-based poppy. You're damn right. Hey, today we got a different topic, man. Today we're going to talk about why you shouldn't be taking your cell phone to the bathroom. You nasty. Coming up. So if you're new to this channel, man, make sure to hit the like button, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. So check it. Before we get to the video, I'm proud to announce. I got a big announcement to make to y'all, man. I'm proud to announce that I will be launching my website and launching my clothing line and merchandise. This is one of my prototypes of my Stay Blessed hoodie. And I wanted to show you guys this because I'm so proud of how everything is coming along. This is just one prototype. Got a lot more coming, man. Still trying to decide on what fabric I want to use for y'all. So this is the prototype right here. Stay on the lookout for that. Let's get into the video. The number one reason why you should never take your phone into the bathroom, right? So picture this. In this busy world, in our hectic lifestyles, we're constantly doing stuff, working, dealing with people, trying to maintain relationships. Coming to bed, honey? Yeah, I'm coming to bed. Yeah, yes, dear. All the stuff is going on in our lives, right? Going to the restroom is probably one of the only times that you have or have the potential to have peace of mind and mental clarity. When you go to the bathroom to do your little thing, you know what I'm saying? It's just you in there. Hey, what you doing, my boy? I'm taking this shit, homie. What you doing? <laughs> At least I would hope you're in there alone. For those 10 to however long you take, <laughs> sometimes me be taking like 30 hours. You know what I'm saying? But however long it takes you, those are the only few times throughout the day where you don't have to tend to anybody. It's just you. You can take care of yourself and kind of think. So if you're bringing your cell phone into the bathroom with you, once again, your attention is being diverted. So picture this, right? You know, back in the day, they would use newspapers and magazines to kind of hold their attention while they were in the waiting room or in the bathroom. Well, now cell phones have taken over. You could play games with them. You could talk to your friends. You can entertain yourself. So if you're constantly focusing your attention on something and not having that mental clarity, that mental peace and tranquility, eventually, I'm sad to say it, man, you're gonna go crazy. Sometimes the mind needs some time to rest. It needs some tranquility, some peace. And going to the bathroom is just another opportunity to be able to just, ah, woosa. Ooh, check out the gun. Woosa, check out the gun. <laughs> going to the restroom is one of the few times that you can just chill, do your thing, boom, boom, number one and two, not my business, but you can do your thing, relax, mental clarity, boom, boom, back. That's all you need to know, man. Going on to the second tip. The number two reason why you shouldn't bring your cell phone in the bathroom, especially while you're in the shower or taking a dump or whatever, is because quite frankly, the bathroom is a cesspool for bacteria. And when it gets humid, when you're defecating, when you're taking a shower, bacteria thrives in humid and moist environments. So even if you leave your cell phone on a counter while you're taking a shower or worse, you got your cell phone in your hand while you're doing your business, bacteria is gonna thrive and it can sneak through those little pockets of your cell phone if you have a phone case and live on to that phone case for days. And actually, many experts say that even fecal matter can stay on your cell phone for days multiplying. And I think about this, you leave the bathroom and you go to your bedroom, you hop in your bed, you put the phone by your head and you fall asleep. Not only are you getting radiation waves pumped into your brain, but you got feces and bacteria just poof, 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 <laughs> multiplying all over your bed. And then you're trying to have company over on that nasty bed. Come on, man. Come on, son. Stop it. Stop it. It is 
honestly one of the most disgusting places in the house, one of the most humid places in the house. And I struggle with it too. I'm not perfect. I'm here to tell you I'm not perfect. But now that I'm a little bit more conscious about this, guys, seriously, I hope you are. It's honestly nasty. Nobody wants feces in their bed, right? So just leave the phone somewhere, go in the bathroom, do your thing, have some mental clarity, Wusa, come back, hop back on your phone. On to the third tip. We fly, no lie, and you know this. Hemorrhoids! <laughs> Sitting on a toilet for a prolonged period of time can relax the pelvic muscles or the anus muscles and lead to hemorrhoids. As the muscles in the pelvis relax, it promotes blood flow to those veins in the anal canal. And uh, there was a story about a young man in Colorado about three months ago. He was sitting on the toilet, defecating for half an hour. He was on his phone, got distracted, and he felt something come out that didn't feel him. It didn't feel normal. Bloop, bloop. So uh, to his demise, <laughs> the brother looked down and uh, he seen inside the toilet bowl was in, was, <laughs> wait, hold on. The brother seen his insides inside the toilet bowl that was supposed to be inside, but it was outside in the inside. Get what I'm saying? And the fourth and final reason, guys, is simply this. Social media, cell phones, and electronic devices has taken over our lives completely. And I can attest to this. I'm a YouTuber, I'm a businessman, I'm a young person, and I'm a social media influencer, if you want to call me that. But, you know, there's times where I catch myself wanting to hop on social media and wanting to bring my phone everywhere with me. But I have to understand that just 10 years ago, I wasn't checking my phone like that. Actually, 10 years ago, I didn't have a phone. You feel me? So I just want to encourage you guys to take control of your life. Yes, this is where the video gets serious. Sorry, guys. It wouldn't be me, baby, if I didn't get a little serious, right? It wouldn't be me if I didn't get all educational, educational, whatever you want to call it, right? So, you know, take control of your life. Go outside, get some sun, the guns. Go outside, get some sunlight, get some vitamin D, you feel me? Get your melanin popping, you know what I'm saying? Do all that stuff. Take control of your life. Go breathe some fresh air. Go work out. And, you know, it's okay to have technology. Technology helps us out. In fact, how you think I'm talking to y'all? Through technology. But just don't become dependent on it to where you got to take your cell phone with you every single where you go. I see people like this every single day. They're walking down the street and they're about to bump into something or get killed or injured. Well, I mean, ain't nothing worse than getting killed. <laughs> But seriously guys, take care of your life, uh, take control of your life, take care of yourself, and don't become dependent on these electronic devices because as society progresses to be more dependent on these, be the person that's gonna stand out and not be dependent. Be independent, all right? So I love you guys sincerely, man. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Be on the lookout for the Dudley Does website that's launching as well as my clothing line and merchandise, guys. Thank you to all of you guys who have supported and purchased my meal plan or my workout plan or my duo plan. A lot of you guys have hit me up and I've been seeing great results. And you guys have been seeing great results and it makes me happy to help you guys reach your fitness goals. Make sure to go follow me on Instagram. It's gonna be right there at Dudley underscore E where I post my meals on the daily or what am I using for my skincare or whatever or just daily activities and get a little more personal with the boy. Not too personal though, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, make sure to hit me up on there. Sincerely, guys, I love you. And what else, man? What's coming next? What's coming next, baby? Y'all know, if you're loyal, you know what's coming next, right? I'll wait. Stay blessed, man. Damn right, bro. 4 a.m. I'm just getting started. For my birthday, I threw me a surprise party. Reminiscing about the trap plan.